Although 1619 to 2019 makes up 400 years, we must finish the final year. Therefore, the end of the prophecy would be August 2020 and not August 2019. Frankly, End of the World Ministries and other Hebrew Israelite groups like them want to have it both ways in regards to date setting for the full fulfillment of the so-called 400 year prophecy. They want to make a big deal about 2019 and now even 2020, but without giving any meaningful specifics until after the fact. This my friends is a cheap trick. Don't be fooled. Now let me offer a final word about these new dates being offered and these recalibrations. Since it's obviously now 2020, and since obviously nothing has really happened, what are the Hebrew Israelites who promoted this 400 years prophecy saying? Some are saying that the white man has tinkered with time and therefore they blame it on the westernized calendar. Others are saying that all they really met was that the fulfillment of the 400 year prophecy can come any time after 400 years, not that it would happen at the 400 year mark. Others are even recalibrating, saying now that the proper date is actually August 20th, 2020. Although 1619 to 2019 makes up 400 years, we must finish the final year. Therefore, the end of the prophecy would be August 2020 and not August 2019. And so now we have, most likely, yet another false prophecy to look forward to. Therefore, the end of the prophecy would be August 2020 and not August 2019.